So reactive variables are not a new concept. Uh, we're, we are not inventing this at all. Right. Um, but generally speaking, a reactive variable is like any other variable, except that the system can observe when it gets uh, updated um, and also keep track of who you know cares about it, who who examined it, so yeah. that you can let those consumers know when there's a new value. Um, and if you do it right, then you can sort of like you know treat these variables like any other variables and just have the consequences of updating them be you know propagated uh, automatically for you. So lots of other uh, reactive programming systems have some something like this. Yeah. Um, but to make that really easy, uh, so that we can intercept both the reading and the updating of a reactive variable, this reactive var t type. Mm -hmm. It's actually a function, and when you want to read it, you call that little function with no arguments, and it'll return something that's right. T. That's right. Yeah, and if you want to update the value, then you call it with one argument, which is the, the, value. the new value. And Got JavaScript it. is happy to, you know, <laughs> allow both allow those. That. And, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you can look at arguments dot length to figure out which is which. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So again, to recap, like if I were to call, which here it wouldn't really be anything, but if I were to call this function, this is going to return to me the current value of this reactive variable if I don't pass in an argument. But then if I That's wanted right. to change it and like we set it to like ascending or whatever, um, uh, then that that would actually be setting the variable as opposed to...